Hello everybody and welcome to my channel, The Motorcycle Gene, where motorcycling isn't just an obsession, it's genetic. Today I want to talk about some really big and world-changing news that uh, just happened this month in November of 2020. Well, um, not that news. That's not the news I want to talk about. That's the news I want to talk about. Before I get into this exciting development, if this is your first time here or if you haven't done so already, go down and subscribe so that you won't miss it in the future when I post more videos like this and uh, product reviews and vlogs and all kinds of things motorcycle related. So I would appreciate it if you go down and subscribe. And with that, let's get into the topic. On November 4th of 2020, Kawasaki Heavy Industries announced that they would be spinning off their motorcycle and um, all-terrain vehicle division from the rest of the company. And so by October of 2021, the motorcycle and all-terrain vehicles will be its own company separate from Kawasaki Heavy Industries. They decided to do this because that is the only aspect of their company that is mass produced for consumers. The rest of the company, they make ocean liners and medical equipment and bullet trains and all kinds of stuff that's not aimed at consumers. It's all, it's all for industry. Since the motorcycle and all-terrain vehicles were their only mass produced consumer items, they decided to spin that off and run that as its own company so that they can focus more on it. So what does this news mean for us? The Kawasaki enthusiasts who own or want to own Kawasaki motorcycles? Well, optimistically, I'm going to say that this means that Kawasaki is going to put a lot more focus on their motorcycles. They're going to put more in R&D and uh, they're going to make better motorcycles. From everything that I've read, it does not sound like Kawasaki is in any way going to downsize or abandon the motorcycle industry. I ride a Kawasaki Vulcan S650 and I really love it. And at some point I want to get a bigger bike so that my wife and I can take a little bit longer trips. I may wind up with one of the Kawasaki baggers because they're so much cheaper or not cheaper in that less quality that they're so much more affordable than Harleys. And they look a whole lot better than Goldwings. It would be really sad if Kawasaki motorcycles went under because they are They've made really good motorcycles for a long time. So. I think that this move will uh, be a good thing for the motorcycle industry and for Kawasaki motorcycles in general. But let me know what your thoughts on it are in the comments down below. So thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Ride safe.